Hey Mojoholics, welcome back to What's Your Mojo, the weekly show where we fill you in on what you might have missed last week, give you a sneak peek on what's coming up next week, ask your feedback, and answer viewer FAQs. Forward March. <laughs> In case you missed it, this week we published Top 10 Akira Kurosawa Movies. If you're into Japanese cinema, samurais, or just excellent filmmaking, you should definitely give that one a look-see. We also let loose Top 10 Supervillain Costumes from Movies. It's pretty badass, plus it'll give you some ideas for Halloween costumes, and I know you gotta get on that ASAP. And finally, we also published Top 10 Band Logos. These are those iconic images or symbols that are associated with a specific band. Expect to see some skulls, stars, and tongues sticking out in that one. It's the weekend again, but maybe you've been sick in bed all week like me, and maybe you've already mojo thoned your way through all of our new videos. So, what have you got to look forward to this weekend? Well, we've got a new series for all you gamers. Top 10 PC games per decade. So we're going from the 80s today to the 2000s on Sunday, so keep your eyes peeled for those videos. On Saturday, we're also publishing top 10 Madonna songs. Even if you are sick as a dog in bed, that one will have you up and dancing in no time. And finally on Sunday, we've got top 10 educational kids shows. These are those shows that you watched as a kid and they entertained you to no end, but you also came away with some knowledge. Cause learning is fun, but you don't have to take my word for it. Wink. Are you guys ready for some trivia? Let's do it. The four main characters on the Flintstones are modeled after the characters of another show. Which one? The Honeymooners, I Love Lucy, Looney Tunes, or The Three Stooges? You are correct if you said The Honeymooners. If you want to test your knowledge on that or anything else, head over to watchmojo.com slash trivia. Anyway, I'm talking to you about the Flintstones because the show debuted September 30th, 1960. So if you love Fred and Wilma, Barney and Betty, Dino, Pebbles, and Bam Bam, check them out in these videos. History of the Flintstones, top 10 iconic cartoon characters of all time, top 10 TV theme songs with words, top 10 worst live action movies based on cartoons, top 10 shows that jump the shark, and many, many more. Also, don't forget to make your way over to watchmojo.com slash calendar to see thousands of our older, equally timely videos. And while you're there, make sure to vote on the topics that matter most to you so we can tailor our future videos to your tastes. Before we ask you guys your opinions on a few of our lists, we thought we'd let you see where your hard work gets you. Top 10 video game tutorial sequences came out on Tuesday. Our series on the top 10 comedy movies per decade starts Friday, October 3rd. And Top 10 Front Women in Hard Rock and Heavy Metal comes out Tuesday, October 7th. Thanks again for your help in choosing those lists. But we have even more lists in need of your input this week. To start, Top 10 Boy Bands. We need your take on this because some people categorize the Beatles as a boy band, and we need your opinion. Should we just include those artificially manufactured bands that dress the same and do choreographed dances? Or should we open it up to bands like the Beatles and the Beach Boys? Or should we even bother doing this topic at all? Let us know by voting. Next up, top 10 celebrities who beat addiction. These are those celebrities who've suffered from well-documented cases of addiction of some kind, but who've managed to come through alive and are now at the top of their games. Inspirational stuff. And now we have top 10 action comedy fight scenes in movies. Confused? I was too. But it's basically just action scenes in movies with a slight comedic edge. So if you like fighting and you like to laugh, you should get your vote on. And finally, top 10 decade defining hard rock and heavy metal songs of the 2010s to finish up our series on the topic. So make sure to vote and rock on. And as always, be sure to head over to watchmojo.com slash suggest to let us know what you think. And while you're there, make sure to exercise your right to vote on any other lists you might have an opinion on. Hey Mojoholics, it's time to kick off the weekend Mojothon in style with some FAQs. With me as always is Dan. Hey, but before we get to our usual stick of answering questions and reading comments, we've got to get some business done. To start, we got the winner of our neighbors contest from a couple of weeks back. Yes, we chose someone at random who left the correct answer in the comments, and that person is HP123434. Who knew that Seth was 13 when he and Evan Goldberg wrote Superbad? 
So congrats. Don't forget to email us via YouTube with your address and we'll get your prize to you as soon as we can. Now on to something far more dire. Dan, you have been teasing and taunting the Mojoholics for weeks now about your new show. Right. Will you finally tell us what it's going to be about? Yes, or at least sort of. <laughs> um, so we started to discuss a lot of different ideas for what shows we could do. And uh, while we had a couple of different things in mind, one suggestion that was getting a lot of love on our Suggest page was top 10 movie critics on YouTube. Right. We also noticed that a lot of people that were featured on this list got kind of excited and got their users to vote for them. So then we figured we could do this movie critics thing as a one-off, but then we thought, why not do a series on the best of YouTube, based both on user votes and our research? And then, presto, we decided to go with that. So, what's the name? Uh, we're thinking YouTube Top X, like topics, but Top X like Roman numerals, top 10. So it's kind of like a double meaning kind of thing. I see what you did there. Yeah, um, we actually used that for that Top X title for a pilot we did last year, but we never continued with that, so we'd like to use that for a series, and uh, that's what we're gonna do, I think. Alrighty. When is the first show going to air? In about a month, but uh, nothing is completely certain yet. So I'll get my show back? No, I'm still gonna be crashing this section for sure. Gotcha. Okay, well, for more info on the show and how it came to be, I believe Ash and I will be discussing it on Watch Mojo FAQ tomorrow, so tune in for that. And you can also suggest ideas for future shows that we might do. All right, now that's out of the way, let's get to some questions. George Z wants to know, Dear Rebecca and Dan, seeing that Halloween is coming, I'd like to ask you guys what your favorite horror movies are. Mine are Psycho, Carrie, 1976, and The Shining. I'd be glad if you answer this in your next show. Well, I am a huge Stephen King fan, so you would think that I'd be a fan of both of those movies, but I never made it all the way through Carrie, which not because the movie was no good, but just because I didn't. And I actually didn't love The Shining because I didn't think it did justice to the book. But anyway, my actual answer, I think this is lame, but I really like Scream. I love meta stuff where, the, you know, like, they know they're doing the cliche and they're talking about how they're doing the cliche and like Cabin in the Woods is like that and I love stuff like that. So those are my answers. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna disagree with Rebecca. I love The Shining. The Shining's probably one of my faves. Um, and Alien, good classics. Alien and The Shining, probably two of my favorites. Is Jurassic Park a horror movie? Nah. All right, then never that mind. sci-fi thriller. All right. John Lewis referenced one of our suggest pages from last week when he asked, Rebecca hates loud chewing and slow walking. I wonder what annoys Dan. Great show. Okay, so this is ultra specific, oh, but it's when I'm taking public transportation, specifically the metro, and I'm in a bit That's of a, a rush. Subway. The, the subway, if you uh, don't live in Montreal or France. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but there's always some, if I have to buy a ticket, there's always like two or three elderly people in front of me who don't know the ticketing system and refuse to speak French to the, uh, to the ticket officer. And it always takes like, 10 to 15 minutes per customer. Uh, that drives me nuts. Cause and, and then like three metros go by as I'm waiting and I'm just like, oh, I just wanna buy one ticket. No one's gonna get this. Anyway. It's very specific. Anyway, it's very specific. For, the ref, like for the record, slow walking doesn't actually annoy me that much. I just blurted it out. It's actually bad grammar. That is my bad one. Alrighty, awesome. Let's finish up by reading some comments of the week. Maxinator317 responded to, oh, to my comment last week that Oh yeah, I was mad that Tool was on top 10 artists whose songs all sound the same. I agree so much with Dan on the top 10 artists that songs all sound the same that Tool shouldn't have been on the list until I listened to their music. Well then. Anyway, Silver Veil vale knows what's up. Dan Nation for the win, LOL. Can't argue with that. Uh, Corey MCC has a suggestion here. Rebecca fans should call themselves Rebels. I like it. You know, that's what my mom said. Anyway, now we're moving on to some highly upvoted comments from this week. Martin Leon had this suggestion for top 10 actors turned directors. Tommy Wiseau for number one, LOL. RJ Wiseau left this very subtly on top 10 motion capture performances. I am Groot. Sir Mustachington III left this one on another top 10 improvised movie moments. Remind me again why the hell Leo DiCaprio still doesn't have an Oscar? Because bleeding on people doesn't get you an Academy Award, apparently. Three Doctor commented on top 10 paintings. What? No Bob Ross and his happy little trees? 
Anyway, guys, thanks as always for the comments and questions. If you like FAQs, be sure to tune in tomorrow for Rebecca and Ash in their FAQ section. And if you want your questions answered, leave them here in the comments. Catch us on Twitter or Facebook or email us at watch at watchmojo.com. Don't forget the hashtag WMFAQ. And if you want a nifty t-shirt, head over to watchmojo.com slash store. That's all for this week. Thanks for watching and tune in again next time for another edition of What's Your Mojo? What's your favorite scary movie?